welcome to the show. <laughs> I laugh, man. I'm not talking ace due to the fact that uh, I could have asked him to play on my solo album, yeah. but he was still with them. As far as I felt, he was a traitor because he really, when it came time for me leaving, you'll read about it, yeah. why I really left yeah. and what really happened. He wasn't with me anymore. All of a sudden, he's with them. And all of a sudden, he, it was like power. Well, if I'm gone, Whoa, now I'm going to get more than one song per album. You got to think how I, I think he was thinking, or two albums. I may get like the right half of the album now, because I'll be the third member, and the next guy comes in, it'll be shit. That's right. And he won't have nothing to fucking say. So it'll be the three of us. Little did he know. That's right. <laughs> but little did he know that Gene and Paul was still Gene and Paul. And he wasn't going to get away with the shenanigans with those two. Now, even better yet, it was Gene and Paul, who really had power. That when they vote, they took your power instead of him taking your power. <laughs> and he didn't know that though. And then finally, because I spoke to him about it, finally, when it when you know when it, when he was losing his mind, and he said he said a lot of it too because he missed me. So he told me later on with remorse, you know, you know, I really missed you, and I don't want to get high with anyone, I don't want to party with, I don't want to drink, I don't want to go crazy with. And he said so I would just escape. He escaped then into drugs, same place I went, only I went three years earlier. And then they got <laughs> sick of his shit, too, and he fucked it up. And we all know that on the elder. Come on. And so that was the end of his reign, and he was out, and he, he had no other way to go either, like me, you know, he was too fucked up to be with them, too yeah. sick of them, and he was, and he was too, too fucked up too, yeah. so all he could say is like, I quit, that sounds like a good way to get out of a mess, that's, right. <laughs> that's what I did, <laughs> but it was yeah. wrong, I should have got help and went to rehab then. I did, but at least I did go eventually, I did get help. Hindsight is 2020. Yeah, that's, right. that's right, that's right. So. And do you have any any communication these days with Gina Paul? No, again, I'm pet. Like I said, Ace is now has his own band. You think he would have at least called me to offer me the gig? That's out of respect, lot, that's just got a fun call mine a piece with Paul. He says, you know, that scumbag. I went <laughs> the night when I played with him. Call I said, I thought, of course he's getting rid of that guy. It's obvious Peter Chris is going to be now the drummer. Right. It's what, so obvious. That's what everyone and thought. so Carl, I said, what a fucking jerk. You know, but he's and he's never at least even offered me to play on a song on his album. I mean, at least say, Peter, because I would to him. That's right. Today I would. Yeah. Now I won't. All right. <laughs> so I'm not talking to him. And plus, my ex-wife had something to do with him on his album cover. She shot it, which he knows how there's that one, really bothers me. One that picture, live cut. Yeah. And it's the terrible. It's Lydia terrible. Yeah, that's right. But that alone is like a dig that I don't need because I had a terrible divorce. Yeah. So I'm not talking to his Gene. I'm totally not talking to him because he just pulled the shit of, with the bad thing. Speaking of gigs. And now Paul, I have not seen him in eight years, but if I if he walked by now, I would get up and say, what's happening? So I, I don't have really anything against Paul's well, I, I just don't, now, really I don't really it. talk to him. I, and I dropped all the ill feelings I have against him. Too old for that shit now, and you lose sleep. <laughs> so uh, what if, what are your feelings? This, this has been a, obviously you've been asked the question many times because it's been a big rumor with the fans. What are your feelings about there ever being a reunion tour of any sort? I don't think that would. I really doubt it. Sad, yeah, sad, because I thought about uh, the whole gap of a generation that missed us. You know, there's... Uh, not there's, only missed you, but heard about you. Yeah, and, and believe it or not, you know, still today, like like 10-year-old kids come up to me for autographs, uh, which is nice. I mean, 10 years old, they were they even there. You? Really? Well, come on. 10-year-old, how can a 10-year-old know about me? Unless you heard it from his parents, or they played the music in the house, or he saw a kiss meets the band, you know? Yeah. So, I get... Re and, and they're like, you know, they're... There's a whole thing, yeah, because I would have been willing to put the makeup on one more time for them and, and, and go out and do like, say, uh, six, you know, like, say, maybe two months, three months and do the major arenas and like do the forum two nights and do the they'd garden. Have, they'd have that would have be been great. Oh, everyone would be it'd there. be super because everybody would bring their kids. Like, there's a lot of guys like Rod Stewart now has got the kids. They'd bring just to bring the kids to see That's the right. show. They, um, they, you couldn't get backstage, put it that way, and I believe that. It would be totally awesome. It would be huge. We'd make a lot of money. We'd get our respect back. We'd leave all the Kiss band loving us, and all the old albums would sell. And and then I would do a, a live double album of that. And I also would do a, a video for MTV, a video for HBO. You know, I, I mean, we'd make a fortune, and then everybody also would benefit by it too, man. Yeah. You know, all these kids who never saw it see drums levitate thirty fucking feet in a rock and roll. Pretty exciting. That would be something. But. Like Nothing to think about There's now, no, I mean, we're not even talking now. And it, there's so much bullshit going on that I, I really doubt it. Yeah. But Rock and Roll All Night brings you interviews, reviews, 
concerts, music, and more. So for more Rock and Roll All Night content, click subscribe.